a multimedia performance group and we're from Austin, Texas and our specialty just happens to be playing music through big audio modulated Tesla coils. We also have a robot drummer and uh, we play instruments and stuff. We play guitars and bass guitars and keyboards and things like that. So basically our Tesla coils are a little different than traditional Tesla coils in a matter that they are solid state. Uh, that means that they use transistors. And so basically what ends up happening is we have a computer that we have built and we have programmed to interpret MIDI data. And uh, we take that information and we turn it into a fiber optic light pulse with our microcontroller, which goes into a digital logic circuit board inside our Tesla coils, which controls the pulse rate modulation, which allows us to uh, change the uh, pitch of the spark that we're producing from the Tesla coil. Each one draws 220 volts from the wall and they can draw up to 50 amps, but depending on the note that we're playing, out of it, it varies. It can be anywhere from 5 to 50 amps. And on the output, each one of the Tesla coils can produce up to a half a million volts and maybe up to uh, an amp of peak RMS current. Uh, when you're electrocuted, it's because your body is passing a current, right? So if your head is at half a million volts and your feet is at zero volts, then you're going to be passing current, right? And so what the, what the Faraday cage does is it encapsulates your whole body, right? So the voltage potential of your head and your feet are the same. So if your head is at a million volts and your feet is at a million volts, that means that there's zero volts uh, across your body and so you're passing no amps. And uh, that's, that's basically why it works the way it does. Thank <laughs> you.